Well, it's inadequate to say, but we appreciate your support. And if you did not watch, we would not be on the air. So let's go ahead and move on now. It's time now for the markets on Farm Week. The next crop report comes out on Wednesday. Two big traders have opposite ideas on which way corn and soybean numbers will move. The lull in grain and oil seeds is an opportunity for livestock producers to book feed needs. And one trader says corn and soybean growers should wait before pricing more of their 2012 crops. Well, two big names in the market, Informa and Allendale, are making different calls on Wednesday's crop report. Allendale says it looks for the USDA to increase the 2011 corn crop by 150 million bushels from September. It looks for soybeans to be virtually unchanged. Meanwhile, Informa's own predictions is above USDA's, but down almost 200 million from Informa's September estimate. Informa looks for a September no a soybean number that is higher than its last estimate and that of the USDA as well. Well, the grain markets rebounded at midweek on the trade's pre-report estimates. Market analyst Alan Brugler says that for the time being, growers should stay with whatever sales they've made at this point. We sold 10% of our 2012 corn. Uh, basically, I've encouraged producers who have purchased their fertilizer already, who've locked mm -hmm. in their land rents to go a little further than that. But again, we, we're thinking this is a, a developing to be a normal harvest low, and we don't want to do a lot of pricing right here for new crop. The, 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 even with the increase in the carry-in, we, we still think there's better opportunities down the road. Well, let's pause for today's trivia quiz on Farm Week. It's about how much corn is needed to make other foods, in this case, beef. What is the cost of the corn that's needed to produce one pound of beef? Now, this is based on $7 a bushel corn, which is a little higher than what the price is right now. Is the answer $0.33, cents, $0.77, cents, $1.77, or $2.11? I'll have the answer in just a few minutes. Well, market analysts are looking for world soybean supplies to be smaller in the coming year. What does that mean now for pricing year 2012 soybeans? Alan Brugler says hold off while we're in the harvest. Global ending stocks are going to shrink about 6 million tons based on current production estimates. Uh, basically what this break is doing is telling the South Americans don't, don't take any extra steps to plant soybeans. We don't need them all that badly. Mm -hmm. uh, and particularly with the shift in the re Brazilian real, it's, it's changed the dynamics down there a little bit. Uh, now. Yeah, here it, it, the producer basically needs to sit on it. He needs to say, okay, I, I made my, my early sales, my forward sales. I don't need to sell at this price. Uh, I, can, I can wait for the thing to settle down a little bit. Brugler says while corn and soybean farmers need to hold off their pricing, he says livestock producers need to book some of their feed while they have this price break in the grains. We're setting up a really good buying opportunity, uh, it, it, and actually it's something the grain guys should be happy about in a way because the margins for the livestock guys went back to positive territory on this grain break. So that keeps them using the product over the next year and, and basically ultimately will cl help clear up the supplies of wheat, corn, and soybeans. Well, while we're at the end of the markets here, it's time to answer today's trivia quiz. What is the cost of the corn needed to produce one pound of beef? If the corn costs $7 per bushel, the answer is $0.33, cents, according to the National Corn Growers Association. It says it takes 2.6 pounds of corn to produce one pound of beef.